Hey guys, it's Danny here again, uh, back with another update uh, with the Caraway Panther. So phase seven uh, was the assembly of the gearbox, as I mentioned previously, it was only three and a half pages, so it wasn't very, uh, wasn't too much to do. So here is how it looks like. I have assembled it and I have put it in place. Um, it was pretty easy, nothing really complicated. There was a couple of photo edge parts, few decals needed to be placed up on those instruments. And uh, yeah, in the middle here, this is where the turret basket uh, gonna sit in. So basically, I guess that's where they uh, spin it. And um, yeah, so basically that's it. Um, there wasn't too many colors needed. I think it was only five colors. So, uh, there's not much to paint. There's a couple of handles here that needed to be black in the end. Uh, the main thing that uh, I was struggling with, and it, it was probably like the most difficult part so far, is to fit the whole gearbox into its place. So they do, there's two little things stands out there and basically it's supposed to just like slide into those slots. However, um, there is many little legs underneath and it just doesn't really slide in properly. So I needed to chop off a lot of bits from the bottom order to be able to really lower it to the proper place. So as you can see it here, uh, there is needed to be literally in level. So when you put it in, it was about two millimeter up. So it just didn't fit properly. And uh, first I thought, well, you know, if it doesn't fit, maybe it has to be that way, but no, that wasn't the case. So then I took the, the top armor and I go ahead, went ahead and I said, all right, I'm gonna put it together and then see if everything fits per perfectly and how is it gonna look. And when I did that, there was like a huge gap here on the front of the tank. So that's why it's needed to be lowered as much as you can. You need to lower that gearbox. So when you lower it and you assemble it properly, then you, you are still gonna, I still have like a little, like a millimeter or less than a millimeter of a, of a little gap there, but I couldn't lower the, the gearbox any, any lower than what it is now. However, I'm pretty sure with a little bit of a glue, you can kind of like glue it together and then this little, little gap will going to disappear. So yeah, if you guys doing that, make sure you, you know, don't glue anything in and first just play with it, play around with it and see, always keep trying to put the top on and see if it's actually gonna fit in properly. Because like I said, I had like a huge gap here, which was, was clearly a problem. So uh, I had to chop off a lot from the, from the bottom of the gearbox or those little hands, which is standing on also here is a holder which is like a 45 degrees um, which is it, it goes to the to the side here and that needed to be chopped off and sent off so it was quite a lot of work and like i said a, a lot of things needed to be removed order to be able to put the gearbox in properly so you will be able to put uh the the top cover uh, in place as well without actually having a huge gap over there so yeah things are coming coming in place so I'm, I'm very very pleased with the results and i think it's it, it's getting looking looking really good i didn't really do too much weathering in there because i think in the end of the day this is not gonna go on a diorama or anything so this is just gonna be a a presentation of a model so I don't think there is too much of a weathering or anything required so this is more of just a, a show off to 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 somebody to, to so you can see inside how the tanks looks so yeah so this was phase seven like I said it was probably like a day work so it, it, it's, it's not too much so like I said the biggest problem I have had so far is to to put this gearbox in place. It was really difficult. Obviously, there's a lot of small bits here. You want to be careful not to break it off. There's a couple of things I broke off. Obviously, you keep touching it, pushing it, forcing it down to its place, but uh, yeah, managed to put it in place. I'm, I'm happy, you know, uh, that maybe there could be a little bit more of a sanding or whatever to, to get that little 
gap disappear as well but i'm pretty sure that i can just push it together with a glue and that gap will disappear so that's not really an issue but it was huge in the beginning so so yeah so that was phase seven guys uh i really like it it's it's really coming together as you can see and uh, the next up phase eight the phase eight again here it starts starts at page 32 out of the 52 so we got 20 more pages left to do and uh, so far i think i have been started this model on the 16th of uh, last month so it's been going on for a little bit over three weeks i would say and this is how far i get so a bit over halfway so the next bit is basically just putting the leftover things inside the top also um this is where it's gonna be tricky like i said all those cross beans had to be chopped off and figure out how it's gonna be and also uh the the phase eight will will com complete the, the the back where the engine's gonna be so yeah so before you start to build the engine so the phase eight it's gonna be another how many pages here we are so it's one two three four five pages so that's gonna take a couple of days but anyway once i'm uh ready with it and everything is painted and ready to show i will show you guys and if i experience any problems then i definitely will make you guys aware of it so that would be all for today thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video guys have a good night bye bye